bracket utility um, is uh, completely rebuilt in our shop. There is uh, a new inverter drive that's put into it. There's a lot of work that goes into rebuilding one of these. Uh, completely disassemble the machine. Uh, all of the parts are uh, cleaned, or sandblasted, painted, rebushed, uh, reblued, whatever the situation calls for, and uh, and completely rebuilt by us. Uh, it comes with a, a new machine warranty. This machine is uh, 220 single phase. It has a uh, Again, an inverter drive that's just a variable speed drive. The controls are basically uh, your main on-off switch, and uh, this is your speed control, uh, just a power on light. <coughs> uh, it also consists of a micro switch that is a start-stop, and uh, that is when we put a, a book into the machine, uh, it automatically starts up. automatically stops when the micro switch has been cleared. Okay, with the power on, uh, on the main control panel, uh, then you have an option of being in automatic or in manual. And uh, the reason for that is for when you're clearing the machine or when you're uh, first starting up the tape, you can turn it to manual and jog the machine while you get it started and then turn it over to automatic and the micro switch will do all the rest of the work. There's also an emergency stop uh, button at this end of the machine. Okay, those, those are the main controls and now uh, just a basic operation of the machine is that when you are setting up for different thicknesses of work, uh, there's only one adjustment and that is this hand wheel that raises and lowers this head. At the same time that the head raises and lowers, it adjusts all the forming devices in the back automatically. Uh, very easy setup for that. Um, these are uh, spring-loaded rollers that are coming down against the product, and this shaft is, is going through the roller, and as soon as it lifts up off of here, if you can get a close-up of that, it shows you you see that's putting tension that little and that is about what you want right there and that is then everything is set uh, for the thickness of the work going through the machine the there is a, a knife trip that is right here and every time the work passes over this star wheel it tells the knife to trip and it cuts in between the books. Um, you will get better than this. I'm not very good, but usually your tails will be short on this end. That's the lead edge, and then whatever your gap is will be the length of this, this tail here. The knife uh, is uh, adjustable in that um, I can change... Uh, when I change speed, it would cut maybe a longer tail than this short tail, and it would be uh, all you do is loosen this and move the the tape um, assembly to the right or left, depending on where how long you want your tail to be on the lead edge. This machine will do uh, from one sheet of, of chipboard clear up to uh, one and a quarter inch thick work, and of course the thicker your work. The, the wider your tape you would be using. And uh, the, the tape is adjusted as to how much tape goes on the front of the book versus the back of the book by raising and lowering this assembly. Okay? So you set this guide for the thickness of your tape, adjust it up and down to get your overlap from one side of the book to the other side of the book whatever you prefer and then you would adjust uh, your tape just stands sits on this spool and uh, the height of the spool then would need to be relevant to the height of where you have this set and then you just adjust that up and down so uh, first you set your width of your tape 
Then you center your tape how you want it over your book for the overlap front and back. And then you lower uh, the spool to accommodate the height of this uh, so the tape is running parallel. The bracket utility uh, taping machine uh, is very versatile in the types of tapes that you can use. Uh, probably the most common tape is pressure sensitive tape. And this is the drive mechanism for the pressure sensitive tape. It is, uh, this rubber roller is being driven and assisting the tape coming off of the roll so we don't put tension on the product. And, uh, and this is uh, probably the most common uh, way uh, that people order. But if you prefer uh, the optional uh, glue pot is available and you can do three different things with this glue pot. You can buy tape that has adhesive that is lick and stick, meaning that if you apply water to it, you've activated the adhesive. And so that's one type of tape. And you would just put water in this pot, and it would pick it up as it passed over. It'll pick it up and uh, activate the glue. The other option is to uh, take the uh, A plain tape, no glue on it at all, and apply a cold glue, oh, like an Elmer's glue, like a white glue. To do that, all you do is put the, the cold glue into this pot, and the wheel will pick up, and you can meter how much glue uh, goes onto the tape by moving these adjustments in, and apply cold glue to the tape, and then apply that to your product. Third option is that you can run a hot animal glue, which is a water-soluble glue, but requires heat. This is a heater. You put, this is a double cooker pot. You put your liquid down here and heat it, and uh, then you put your adhesive into this upper pot, and uh, animal glue is going to solid form takes a little bit of heat to uh, activate it and make it liquid and uh, it is a uh, another option of the type of uh, tape that you can run on this machine. Uh, on a pressure sensitive drive the, the tape is coming off the spool around the rubber roller and into onto the product. When you're using a glue pot um, you would just come around into this guide and then come around to your product. So as I pull, you can see that the tape is coming off the spool. It will be applied by the wheel and just would come around this guiding mechanism. You can order the machine with pressure sensitive drive. You can order the machine with a glue pot or you can order the machine with both options included. We also supply the tape that's used on the bracket utility or any of your uh, taping equipment. Uh, you can buy it by the roll, you can buy it by the case, you can buy it by the skid. We have um, paper tapes in um, all different colors. We have uh, what we're featuring today is a cloth tape. It is a um, easy release cloth tape and it is a uh, Holds up very well in a cutter. If you were going to cut a stack, uh, it will it will not tear, and it is a nice, easy release for application.